as we go through wavelength and velocity there's a couple of things just kind of symbology wise that we need to talk about we talked about wavelength which is the distance that a wave travels in a cycle we have frequency which is the number of cycles that go that pass in a given amount of time we also need to talk about velocity velocity is just how fast the wave is actually propagating how fast it's moving but uh, these things all have symbols and they have units now we already talked about the units wavelength is a measure of how far it goes so we measure it in meters frequency we measure in Hertz um, but a lot of times uh, we can you can ask me in class if you need to uh, don't have time right now to talk about it but a different way to show Hertz uh, is you know you could either of those two ways s to the negative one power is a different way to see uh, to talk about frequency to, uh, units uh, but whichever symbol you use you can just say Hertz when you're reading it and velocity is in meters per second but we also have these symbols and the best way I can describe why we need a symbol is uh, think about the formula distance equals rate times time let's say that we have a word problem and I say you go like 50 miles per hour and uh, you go for like two hours and so 50 times 2 is you went 100 miles and most people can kind of follow that but you'll notice that we talked about 100 miles two ways we said 100 miles now that's a unit and then we have in the formula we had a d so d equals we'd say d equals 100 miles so that's the symbol we kind of use it for the formula it stands for the value we're talking about and then we have the unit which is what we were taught you know what we were measuring it in uh, similarly our rate uh, was the symbol you know these things in the formula they're the symbols uh, so, for example, when you got done with this problem, you would never say that it was 100 D. You would say it was 100 miles. Similarly, up here, if you're talking about wavelength, when you got done, you might say that the wavelength was 2.4 meters. But uh, as we get into some formulas and things, we'll want ways to describe it just like we did down here. We'll need, woo, woo. We'll need ways to describe uh, these different things. Uh, the velocity, the frequency, wavelength, as we would do formulas, we need symbols for them as well. And the symbols are kind of fun. The Greek letter lambda, lambda, is the symbol. It's a kind of an upside down Y. Uh, it's their lowercase L is what it is. So if you see lambda equals a number, then you're, you're talking about the wavelength. And the frequency is. Uh, it's a new, which kind of looks like, uh, uh, well, let's put it on the wrong side there. <coughs> it's almost like a V, but it's got it's kind of squiggly and it's got a little, uh, little line before it. So, so anytime you kind of see a V, but it looks kind of not like a V a little bit, <laughs> you're like, what's wrong with that V? You're probably dealing with uh, the Greek letter new and U, and so. <coughs> frequency uh, and then velocity the symbol is a regular V so those are uh, s some of the symbols that you may need to familiarize yourself with